Hello everyone. So in this video, we will solve a numerical problem related to overhanging beam. So the question is, draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the overhanging beam, uh, which is shown in the figure. And he is also asking us to locate the points of contraflexure within this span AB. Okay. So initially, to start off with, uh, first we have to calculate the reactions at uh, a and B. So let I am taking them as R and R B. So initially we will calculate the reactions as R A plus R B minus what are the downward forces minus 8 minus 20 minus 10 is equal to 0 which is sigma V equal to 0. So from here I have R A plus R B is equal to how much 38. Okay keep it aside or keep it as equation number 1. Now what I will do is I will take sum of moments about a and I will equate it to 0 okay this is sigma m condition so according to this I am taking moments about this point okay so rb will come towards a in anti clock direction so it is minus rb into 8 and uh, this 20 will come towards a in clock direction so plus 20 into 5 and uh, this 10 also will come towards a in clock direction so the distance between a and 10 is 3 plus 2 5 plus 5 10 so it is plus 10 into 10 and this 8 kilo Newton will come towards a in anti clock direction so it is minus 8 into 3 is equal to 0 so from here I have minus RB into 8 is equal to minus 176 so minus minus will go so from here I have RB value as 176 by 8 so from here RB is equal to 22 kilo Newton so if I substitute this value of RB in equation 1, I will get the RA value. Therefore, uh, RA plus RB is how much? 22 is equal to 38. So from here, what is RA equal to? 38 minus 22. So RA comes out to be around 16 kN. So this is the first step everybody has, of us has to do. We have to calculate the, um, what do you call, uh, reactions. Okay. So once you calculate the reactions, what we have to do is that we have to calculate the shear force. So I'll do shear force here. So shear force is the heading. Okay. I'll start off calculating the shear force. So if you can see here, uh, what is the shear force? So what is the shear force at uh, C now? So shear force at C is equal to so if I'm calculating shear force of C let me say I'm standing at this point so to the left of the section what is there uh, 8 kN which is acting downward so we have a sign convention R U N and L U P okay so left side upward is positive for the section so if I say this is my section so left side upward is positive so it is downward so what is the shear force minus 8 kN now I will go to shear force at A okay so what is shear force at a now i'm calculating the shear force at a means i'm standing at this point so left side downward is negative which is minus 8 plus left side upward positive so this is rea value rea value was 16 if you remember just now we solved rea value which is 16 kilo newton and rb was 22 i will write it here so rb is 22 kilo newton and rea is 16 kilo newton so it is minus 8 plus 16 so which comes out to be 8 kilo newton okay Next, we will calculate shear force at D. So, shear force at D is equal to, so I am standing at D, D. And if you see towards my left side, I have 8 downwards. So, minus 8 plus 16 minus 20. So, how much it comes out to be? It will come out to be minus 12 kN. Or else, you can also write it as up to A, what is the shear force? It is plus 8. So, plus 8 minus 20. So, it is minus 12. Next, I will calculate shear force at point B. So shear force at point B will be, so you can do from left to side or you can just uh, do it from this side. So if I am standing here, right side of the section if I take, right side upward is negative, so right side downward will be positive. So like that I can do or else if I see from the left side also it will be how much? Minus 8 plus 16 minus 20 plus 22. Or else you can write up to D what is the shear force? Minus 12. So minus 12 plus RB is 22. So it would be plus 10 so in either ways you check it is plus 10 okay now we will finish off the shear force diagram so if you just drop the lines so we will calculate the we have calculated the shear force now we will draw the uh, diagram okay first you draw the given beam a 
A to E. Okay, C, this is A, this is D and this is B. Now what is the shear force at uh, C? It is minus 8, so draw downwards, minus 8. And what is the shear force at A? It is plus 8, correct? So mark plus 8 here. So from here till here, it will be like this, which is minus, this is 8 kilo Newton. And what is this value? Plus 8 kilo Newton. Then up to here, the same will go. And what is the shear force at D? We have minus 12. So now come down and this is how much 12 kilo newton and this is minus this is plus okay then what you have to do now what is the you join till here next what is the shear force at to be it is plus 10 so this is 8 no little bit bigger you draw this is plus 10 okay what is the value of this 10 kilo newton so this is how our shear force diagram will look like okay now next we will do the bending moment calculation so bending moment calculations so we will start off from C. What is bending moment at C? Bending moment at C is equal to 0 because we are standing on point C. So there is no perpendicular distance. So it is 8 into 0. So it is 0. Next we will calculate bending moment at A. So I am calculating bending moment at A. You can see uh, towards my left there is 8 kilo Newton which is acting downward. So which is creating a hogging bending moment which is minus. So it is minus 8 into what is the perpendicular distance from C to A? 3. So this is minus 24 knm. Next, we will calculate bending moment at D. So bending moment at D means we are standing on point D. Imagine what is towards the left? 8 and 16. 8 is acting in downward direction. So minus 8 into distance from 8 to D is 8 meters. And RA is acting upward so it will try to push your beam up direction means the bending moment will be positive sagging so 16 into 5. So this answer will come out to be around 16 kilo Newton meter. Okay next we will calculate bending moment at B. So bending moment at B will be bending moment at B will be 8 into 11 means minus 8 into 11 plus 16 into 8 and my, uh, minus 20 into 3. So how much this bending moment will come out to be? This bending moment will come out to be minus 20 kilo Newton meter. Okay, you solve this. Next we have bending moment at point E. So we are doing at point E itself. So there will be no perpendicular distance. It will be 0 or else you can have a cross check. You can do 8 into minus 8 into 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13. The total span is uh, 13 meters. So minus 8 into 13 plus 16 into 10 minus 20 into 5 will give you 0. Okay. So this is the bending moment calculation. Uh, so first we will draw the bending moment diagram. Then we will calculate the or then we will locate the points of contraflexure. Okay. So how does the bending moment diagram look like? So first you draw the given beam. This is A. This is B. This is D, this is A and this is C. What is bending moment at C? 0. What is bending moment at A? 0. Or C, E, 0. Sorry. Now what is bending moment at A value? Minus 24. So this is negative direction. Go down. Minus 24. So put some point here. 24 kilo Newton meter. Which is minus. So I am drawing downward. Next what is bending moment at D? Plus 16. So again mark a line let this point is 16 kilo newton meter next what is bending moment at uh, b minus 20 again so till here i mark 24 now so i will put 20 till here okay let this point is 20 kilo newton meter and bending moment at e is 0 so all our point loads you will join using a straight line so from c to a it is negative and when it is going from a to d it is positive again when it is coming from here it is negative and again this is negative so this is minus this is plus this is minus now all of you can observe there are two points of contraflexure where are the two points of contraflexure we have 
one point of contraflexure at this place what is point of contraflexure all of you must remember so basically points of contraflexure are those where the bending moment is becoming zero okay so so we can observe there are uh, as i have told we have two points of contraflexure so we have here one point of contraflexure and here one point of contraflexure so point of contraflexures are those where the bending moment becomes zero or the bending moment changes its sign okay so one point of contraflexure is occurring between a and d and second point of contraflexure is occurring between d and b okay first of all uh, we let let us say that uh, let this first point of contraflexure is let's say o1 and the second point of contraflexure is O2. Let this O1 means the first point of contraflexure is at a distance of x1 from the support EA. Okay. So how to solve when it is like this? And also uh, to, I'm writing here itself. Uh, so let the distance between the point of contraflexure O2 and the support B is x2. Okay. Let's keep this aside. So now what we will do is we will calculate the bending moment at uh, uh, this O1. So first what I'm doing is uh, let O1 is the point of contraflexure which is at a distance of which is at a distance of x1 from A. Okay. It is at a distance of x1 from support B. So then bending moment at O1 is equal to. Now we are writing bending at O1. So let's say o1 is our section we are writing bending moment equation so towards the left of my o1 what are the forces i mean what you have 8 kN which is acting downward so minus so let's make this simple so it will be minus 8 into distance what is the distance between the point of contraflexion and this 8 from here to here it is 3 meters right and this is x1 so it will be minus 8 into 3 plus x1 and you have another force towards the left of o1 which is ra which is acting upward so it is plus positive bending moment 16 into what is the distance between o1 and a x1 so it is plus 16 into x1 this is the bending moment equation at the point of contraflexure o1 but what is bending moment at o1 actually zero right so minus 8 into 3 plus x1 plus 16 x1 is equal to 0 so from here this is minus 24 minus 8 x1 plus 16 x1 is equal to 0 so if i simplify this this is 8 x1 um, 8 x1 uh, 8 x1 is equal to 24 so from here x1 is equal to 24 by 8 so i have x1 is equal to how much 3 meters so at a distance of 3 meters so this value so at a distance of 3 meters from point a the point of contraflexure 1 is taking place similarly let's write the bending moment equation on o2 so bending moment at o2 so let's write bending moment equation at o2 so we will see what is towards the right of o2 so towards the right of o2 you have 10 kN which is acting downward direction so it is negative bending moment so minus 10 into 2 plus x2 so minus 10 into 2 plus x2 and you have reaction at b rb which is acting upward direction so it is rb into x2 so what is the value of rb 22 22 into x2 okay this is the bending moment at o2 but what is bending moment at o2 zero because we know this is the point of contract value so minus 10 into 2 plus x2 plus 22 x2 should be equal to how much zero so we will open this so minus 20 minus 10 x2 plus 22 x2 is equal to 0 so from here uh, 11 x2 is equal to 20 so from here x2 will be equal to 20 by 11 so from here x2 comes out to be sorry it is uh, 12 i'm sorry minus 10 plus 22 is 12 so this is 12 so 20 by 12 is approximately 1.66 meters and this is from a and this is from support b so at a distance of 1.667 meters from support b the second point of contraflexion will occur so this is how you need to calculate or solve problem regarding 
uh, overhanging wave so i hope all of you understood the video thanks for watching